This is me. This is Allie. We're married. But our pop culture references go over each other's heads. So this is the show where we bridge our cultural gap. This is Allie Hasn't. Hey, true believers. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Allie Hasn't. I'm Stan the Man Lee, and this... I'm supposed to be Edgar Allan Poe, but I also look like Charlie Chaplin. Hi. Hi. So, hey everybody. Uh, it's, it's a little hard to keep the Stan the Man voice up, you know, but... You sound like you're gonna lose your voice any moment. So, we are watching Eerie, Indiana. Uh, a show that I used to watch as uh, a younger version of myself. I got that DVD at Black Dog Video, one of the last video stores in Vancouver, video rental stores. Check it out on Commercial Drive if you're in the neighborhood. If you're not, support your local video store if you even have one at all left. So, Erie, Indiana, what do you know about it? Nothing. Nothing! Absolutely Never heard nothing. of it. Yeah, this is one that I'm not, I'm not like super surprised that you don't know anything about. It's not like this is some sort of big pop culture staple that everyone has heard of. I think there's a lot of people, even my own age, who would go like, I don't remember, I didn't watch that show. Mm. But for some of us, it was cool, and it was a great show, and uh, and we have fond memories of it. Any expectations? Anything you're you guessing what it's about? Um, I'm hoping it'll be a little creepy. Sorry, just shout it in Isn't that the hope? Isn't that the hope? Yeah. I'm expecting it to be kind of like a Stranger Things vibe where some eerie things are happening in eerie. Any famous actors I'll know? There is an actor that I want to see if you can place where you've seen him before. Okay, cool. Cool. Without further ado, let's just jump in. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Mr. Baby, Mr. Baby, Mr. Baby, baby boy. Oh, I'm gonna need to switch to my normal glasses. This isn't gonna work. You can keep that on your forehead. Is that a puffer fish? <laughs> maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Synchronized lawnmower? Right? Wrong. You're wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Spooky, 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 spooky. Oh, cool. Uh, so is the actor like one of the main cast members? Yep, the kid that we saw. Have you figured it out? Oh, no. Do I recognize him? Nope. Uh. <laughs> Jeez, some of this is really, really cheesy. <laughs> well, this is aimed for kids, I, I assume that it's yeah. Okay, so I don't know who is this kid. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get a good I'm shot of him. That's my family. They're all too busy. So this guy, I guess this is uh, the first episode. Mom just started her own personally. I don't think anybody who spells Cindy S Y N D I should be allowed to operate a motor vehicle. <laughs> That's fair. Dad works for things. Mm. That's not her fault. <laughs> it's true, there's a parents. Okay, so if, if you were to go like daylight savings time, would that ring a bell? No. Ew, that's actually really gross. Every teenager for himself. Starve, child. Starve. <laughs> that's like negligence. Why does this feel like Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> actually, yeah. Not too dissimilar. Anyway, where's the kid from? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But he, it's, yeah, he did this before that. We would do Hocus Pocus, but she's seen it and on, so there's no, there's no, it's not Allie has in the material. But we, yeah, just so you know, everybody, Allie has seen Hocus Pocus. You know how overwhelming the task of everyday Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Say overwhelming. Oh, my goodness, sir. Tell you what. Why Tell you what. Tupperware party. party? It's just a forever wear. Oh, oh, forever wear. Together to trade gossip and tips about how to organize your life with this wonderful line of products. Honey, is this leftover stomach or something else? I can't tell. Sorry. So it's all set. Sounds to me like their fridge just doesn't work. Uh, oh heck, why not? <laughs> oh heck. I'll just leave you with this complimentary catalog. I thought that was the last idea of the twins. But then, 
It's like so Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum. He's just a kid. Better let him hang out because his parents don't seem to want him around. Aww. So That's really sad. Better weird than dead. Wow, I, he's not he's not wrong. I'm looking for something wrong out of place. The amount of focus these children have is beyond me. I can't. Like hey, it's Bert Looks like a bologna sandwich. Braver man than I. Ah, good call. Oh no, she likes to organize. <laughs> Check out the twins. Mr. Mr. Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> That's good. Oh boy. We've been together for too long. <laughs> oh. So I can't hold it for a little longer at least. Oh. My mustache is falling off. Yeah. Oh my god. Why are they consenting to this? Maybe they're not. Oh, it's Game of Thrones! <laughs> She's got a pretty good death stare. Staying out forever, that's a pretty common ambition for... They're not a kid, though. I think people want to stay in their 20s forever. True. I like her hair. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. Mom was on housekeeping binge. Okay, this should have been done anyway. Oh, loose strips of bacon in the fridge? What the heck is going on? Jeez, I don't that know. was the crime. This forever wear doesn't actually seem like that bad an idea. Dad? It's good talk. There's nothing I can do to stop her. It just feels so disingenuous. Everyone's like, Oh my gosh, hi! Be part of our pyramid scheme! Give us money! To be fair though, in real life, Tupperware is a very good product. Yeah, but this ain't Tupperware. Beatrice Pillsbury, and I've been a forever Pillsbury? since 19- I want some, I want their cookies now. I'm Emma Jean Crocker, and I've been fresh since 19 Crocker, like the pot. Actually, yeah, it's all, uh... <laughs> Winterford Swanson, and... Swanson! <laughs> forever without forever wear since 1960. I think of turkey stuffing. My name is Phyllis Stouffer. I seal these rooms. Yeah, they're all, like, they're all like... I don't recognize that one. Stouffer? What's Stouffer? It's like, uh... <sighs> Oof. <laughs> Okay, that was some ASMR. For the forever wear. It's a cult. For wives and mothers everywhere. Forever wear. <laughs> I like these guys. I don't know, I don't know what it is about them. Forever wear. Oh. Thirty years I've been sitting It does remind me a lot of Edward Scissorhands, doesn't it? Yeah. That uh Small town. Why would they be a bad thing when they're the ones who slipped him the note? Like, obviously, they wanted him to find out, right? Yeah, it seems that way. So them going upstairs wouldn't be the worst thing. Hello, children. Marshall. Ooh, they like that way too much. Sorry, guys. We need your help. You do? Well, that, that's why they slipped you the note. Yeah. Come on, Marshall. Keep up with the story. Holy crap. Oh, now we're doing some uh, bonding so they can love bomb each other. Mm. This, yep, love bombing. Another cult tactic. Oh, they just did the wave. Okay, why not? Your life is falling apart. I know what will help. Let's do the wave. Why are you wearing shoes in the house? Mmm. Americans. Three of gifts. <laughs> yes, well, I suppose you did the right thing then. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <a professional laughs> oh, yes, I, I suppose you did the right thing. <laughs> you don't know what it's like being in seventh grade for 30 years. It's a living hell. Come on. 
Seventh grade, yeah. Not... I would probably agree. I mean, just like imagine the imbeciles. Just like you, you would never be able to have an intellectual conversation yeah. with any of your peers ever. Yeah. yeah. Like, no one would ever take you seriously. It's true. Yeah, it would be pretty bad. I don't know if it's the worst. No, actually, yeah, you're right at, the, bad. right at the beginning of puberty. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty well. bad. Yeah, I don't like it. Will that be cash or check? It's a pyramid scheme. Well, you know, cults are often are financially motivated. Tell me what you need me to do. I knew I had no Isn't this the uh, the logo for uh, Scott Free Pictures? Sorry, it's... It amazes me that people can walk around the house like this and not get detected. Oh, never mind. <laughs> My mom, when I go downstairs to get a midnight snack. <laughs> yeah, you got, she got that sense, right? We'll take care of mother. Oh! <laughs> She gonna swim with the fishies. <laughs> what is wrong with this place? <laughs> I just think their fridge is broken. That would be a rancid smell. Old baloney? Yeah. Stay the way you are. Messy mom that <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and the moral of the story is don't learn how to You're organize busy. and take care of the home. Mm. It's beautiful. Did Bert and Ernie turn into rotten blobs of goo? Were the names really Bert and Ernie? No, thank you. <laughs> I like those guys. I don't know what it is about them. <laughs> they must be 30 something. Just eat it the I next day. Let me seal it up. That's where I've hidden all the evidence you will I can't even imagine the smell. Oh, gross. The smell. It's the smell. Next episode The Retainer. Even man's best friend is up to no good. <gasps> Not the doggies. Not the puppies. When I try to tell this to my family, they just think I'm weird. Big, drooling armies of dogs. You mean no. like that man-eating poodle? Never mind. <laughs> dogs. I'd love to see you. That reminds me of the Hulk poodle from the first of. Hulk movie. And going to the orthodontist is one of those things. But you don't understand. We'll talk about it in the car. I don't understand either. Uh, Marshall? I mean, we're talking major surgery. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. He looks familiar. Yeah, I think he's just one of those actors who kind of makes their way into a little bit of everything. You know, you don't really know the name, you know the face. Something very special. <laughs> but his direction was just like, just ham it up. Radical. Like, I want you to be mad scientist slash Dracula. Slash Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's supposed to be a retainer? I love it. Future show blurry, they could be anything. Ah, it's true anything, though. Including it's like the Ryan Bergara. And these pictures no way, shall remain unsolved. unsolved. <laughs> I don't want any of your dumb hoagie. Shut up about it. Shut up about it. I didn't say anything. I haven't really painted this guy in the most sympathetic light, I gotta say. <laughs> so this is a cross between brace face and up. <laughs> Why are you trying to paint this as a bad thing? This is awesome! You get to talk to dogs. Although you shouldn't be bringing strange dogs into your home. Stop wasting time with these other clothes, please! <laughs> of course. It's got a French accent. I feel like this was a benefit. He understood what was happening. Regardless if you have a retainer or not, it looks like these dogs are going to be attacking you. Yeah. So I feel like the retainer is a good thing. Yeah. This will never work. You believe in radio waves, don't you? you <sighs> what a naysayer. So maybe dogs are just on a different frequency. If it's the dogs I hear, then how come they're speaking English? 
I don't know. Maybe they're not speaking English. Maybe we're speaking dog. How should I know? Hmm, deep. That sounds like something that uh, Pascal would say. Let's go find us some dogs. Yeah, I'll take a pearl. So the dogs are in a cult. I, I, yeah, I guess it's just a very cult filled town. Come on. Dogs check in, but they don't check out. I think that's just called the Hotel California. Hmm. Pre dabbing. Neither. How is this guy so. I hate how he's sweeping right now. Yeah, he's doing a terrible job. Unless, of course, you'd like to go for a walk to the chamber. Walkies? Ooh. Oh, bad walkies. Oh, no. He's gonna gas them? Oh, no barking. <laughs> Dogs just read that and be like, oh, so I guess it should be quiet. Oh, look at that! And you close the door. It looks like there's bits of flesh still on it, too. They were hungry, hungry dogs. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> another, another Game of Thrones comparison. Uh, what was the name of that guy who, who got eaten by the dogs? Ram Wait, uh, like, for his just desserts? Yeah, uh, yeah. Ramsey Bolton? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that guy. Who didn't? Which is funny because the actor was such a sweetheart. Those are happy dogs. Well, that's good to know. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that reminds me of Lucky. Lucky the, <laughs> just looks the dog? Like, yeah. <laughs> But neutering is is preventative health care. Mm -hmm. It's so important. Spay and neuter your pets, people. Very important. Also, deworming is very important. And vaccinating your pets. You can touch cats and dogs. Really, just in general, general health care stuff like you do with people. How do you take that seriously? This tiny little poodle. <laughs> Metal mouth. <laughs> brace face. Brace face. Brace face. Have you? Did, did you ever watch Brace Face? Nope. You know the show though. Nope. Did they just sacrifice their friend? I don't know if they sacrificed him so much as they he just ran off and. Uh, what? <laughs> I couldn't hide forever. Eventually, I had to go. So they just accepted that this kid is gone. But I had no idea who or what was waiting for me. Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess. It's like, what do you do? <laughs> like, oh yeah, this kid disappeared. Uh, we're not filing a missing persons report or anything. Oh hey, Marsh. Mm -hmm. Did you get your retainer? Suddenly there it was, Steve's <laughs> retainer. Oh, was his mom gonna be mad? I bet Steve doesn't think Yuri's boring anymore. <laughs> Is Steve alive? So we added Steve's retainer to our earrings. Pretty sure weird. that should be with the cops. Someday, the world will be ready for the truth. Well, the, oh wait, oh, hold on. Well, what I tell you, that's one crazy show, isn't it? It was like freaky stories, tales from the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, Crypt a little bit of Twilight Zone in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for kids and yeah. campier. Yeah, definitely campier for sure. Yeah. I knew what it was, though. You know, it was, it was a show that it was, it was, it was sort of like it was, it was cheesy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it was a cheesy show. I guess, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a cheesy show, but uh, but fun. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. If you don't know what Freaky Stories, is it was another sort of like strange tales kind and of, then anthology of stories. Yeah, this one has a common thread of like following Marshall and Simon, but uh, and apparently Steve. Who disappears and no one cares. Surprisingly, a lack of care for sure. Yeah. So yeah, what'd you think? I think I would have been freaked out by the whole story of like uh, of of someone being stuck in a foreverware box. Mm -hmm. 
The dog one's kind of ridiculous because dogs are awesome. <laughs> it's true. Do yeah, dogs dogs are lovely, friendly creatures. Uh, but maybe, you know, but if they're trained right, maybe these are very abused dogs. And they want revenge on humanity for being terribly abused. Okay. Which, in which case, that actually kind of makes the, dar the story even, even darker, really. I mean, it's fine. Like, obviously, as an adult, I'm not very intrigued by it. But I guess as a kid, I think I would have been freaked out by it. Apparently this came out in 1991. Uh, I, I'm sure I watched it later than that. I feel like I didn't watch it in its initial run. I must have watched like... Reruns. Reruns mm -hmm. uh, down the road. I feel like I watched this in the later 90s. All in all, I feel like the production value is pretty good. Yeah, uh, not bad. Performance is pretty good. It's got a very nice tone, uh, like as far as just being quirky and funny, but also like got a little bit of a dark edge of humor. It reminds me of those kids' books where it's like, my neighbor is a vampire or something like that. The my, janitor my is a pirate. My teacher is an alien, like those ones? I think so. I think yeah, yeah. yeah so. I used to like love, I, like, I love those books. Oh. So they're great. They would be beside the like Babysitter's Club mm -hmm. books and stuff. Yep, yeah, I, yeah. I read those. I don't think I've seen the whole series and this one only has one more episode on it. Uh, and it's the only DVD I got from it. So uh, I don't know where you can watch Erie, Indiana these days. Uh, if they're on any streaming services, yeah. I'd have to look. But, so, um, all in all, as a kid, I probably would have been a little freaked out by it, but not the dog one. The dog one's just... Too nah. silly. The dogs are cute. Yeah, she loves dogs. I love dogs. Loves, or as we, or we like to call them, puppies. puppies. What's next? I don't know. I didn't think about it. Well, that's fine. Okay, so the <laughs> next Ellie has is gonna be a mystery. Yeah. Have yourselves a spectacular Halloween. Please stay safe. And whatever you do, don't play with firecrackers.